You know, I haven't really talked about this much, but uh, when I first started in the ministry, and of course for years and years and years after, including to the current day, I've always had to find myself sort of apologizing for actually being a pastor, a Christian, and walking with the Lord. And oftentimes, of course, I will never apologize for any of those things. Those are things that I absolutely love. But oftentimes, the reason why I found myself having to sort of sit back and uh, backpedal a little bit and explain to people what Christianity really is, is because there's so much really bad teaching out there so many wrong impressions of God that the reality of it is people really don't understand truly who God is. And it's amazing because you've got people who are on TV that say, give me your money and I'll send you some water and a prayer cloth. Or you know what? If you really love God, then you would listen to my Bible studies this amount of time. Or if you were a Christian, you'd go to church this much. And (laughs) quite frankly, all of that stuff is completely crazy. The Bible tells us real things about real people, and the stories oftentimes don't fall under what we always have called traditional. Like, for example, how many times have you had a pastor actually say, the Bible says, Lord, where two or more are gathered, you are there in the midst. Okay, wrong. (laughs) Listen, they apply that to the context of prayer when prayer has nothing to do with it. Now, I know I might be the size of two people, but the reality of it is, It doesn't matter whether or not you are with somebody. God is always going to hear your prayer. And the context of that passage had to do with confrontation, right? Very specific confrontation. So, you know, you get that or or this is a big one. People teach oftentimes through Revelation chapter three and they talk about the church in Laodicea and they say, you're neither hot nor cold, but because you're neither hot nor cold, you're lukewarm, I'll spew you out of my mouth. And everybody says, well, cold means you hate God and hot means you really love him. Huh? Where'd you get that from? God would never wish that you hate him, right? Cold and hot are both very refreshing extremes. They're both good things. I kind of have a really hot personality. If you listen to Dale, it's kind of cold, if you know what I mean. Meaning, uh, you know, Chuck Smith was another cold personality, right? Not cold like I hate you, you know, kind of cold. I'm talking about cold meaning mild-mannered, oftentimes very quiet, soft-spoken. I'm like, ha! I'm a little bit that way. People just oftentimes misinterpret the passages. They look at scripture incorrectly. And perhaps one of the greatest mistakes that's oftentimes made in looking at the Bible is who Jesus really was. People looked at Jesus as somebody who sort of floated on the clouds and only hung out with people that were absolutely perfect. When in reality, Jesus was oftentimes accused of hanging out with wine bibbers and, and tax collectors and all kinds of people that were really bad people in society. And the reality of it is Jesus oftentimes went out of his way to go to the worst people in society to minister to them. And we are going to look at one such very important passage in Matthew chapter 9 today. So for those of you that are just watching this, just because you watch the daily blogs, I would connect to the video link that we have here at the end of this video uh, because it's going to be great. First, second, third service. We'll be talking about that. And then, of course, tonight, as usual, we'll continue to get into our walk through the minor prophets. Anyway, it's good stuff, you guys. And truth be told, the more and more we realize how untraditional God actually is, the more life-saving, impacting, and important our walk becomes because we know that God wants to do so much more than we ever thought possible. And we are imperfect, we're incapable people, but God is more than capable of fixing everything. So that's the good news, you guys, and that is all founded in what Christ has done for us. Anyway, love you guys, God bless you. Keep looking to the Lord and understand, God may not be who you think he is. Bye-bye.